All right, what's going on YouTube? This is Mr. Zuni back at it with another video. And I always wanna compare the consoles I do have. Uh, you can see the PS3 here, five and my one. I did have a two, but I got the, the ring of death on that thing. I had that thing for years. It was one of the best systems I've had for a long time. I could count like so many games I played on it. Um, and then I, I actually got one on eBay or uh, at the Goodwill for like 20 bucks, but I sold it for like 70 or something like that. Um, like a few years back, I didn't really have any use for playing any games. Um, maybe that's why I skipped the four. Uh, I was going to college, met my girlfriend and get married and all that good stuff and bought a house and career, college, all that good stuff. So I think it's about time I got the five. So uh, let's talk about the, the one real quick. So this is where it all started for me. Uh, I don't even know what game's in here. Oh, Vigilante 8. This is actually a classic game here. I love this game. Um, it started off with Metal Gear, though. Metal Gear Solid, when you, they had like that demo. Um, that's where my love for gaming started. And I also want to compare the controller. I don't have... I, I, I have this, the uh, Grape controller somewhere. But this was um, part of this as well as, the I think, the two. I use them both interchangeably. Um... I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. I think this is my PlayStation 2 controller on here, but it does work with the PS1, I do believe, but don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, this is where it all started. Simple open up, you have <laughs> you have these uh, memory cards that you used to have to buy and to store your games and data and save entries and stuff like that. You have your reset button right here and your power. So it's pretty basic. Uh, on the back, you have like your power, your TV ports. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. I kind of, you kind of see it got damaged. But yeah, I was, um, I don't even know when these came out. Okay, it says August, mine says August 1989. So I was eight years old when that, whatever, if the system came out in 98, 1998, I was eight years old and fell in love with, with Sony and PlayStation. Like I said, Metal Gear was was my thing um vigilantes 8 uh twisted metal love those games and yeah so that's a ps1 right there and my memories on that probably a little bit more but uh, off the top that's all i remember uh ps2 of course that was another thing i loved that was um i played metal gear again twisted metal again uh just a, a bunch of games that was one like you can go to uh, blockbuster or rent games and you used to play games forever on there uh so that was that was my love for this now let's get to the playstation 3 um uh, kind of kind of just looking at them uh going from the two or to one to the two was a major update for the two to the um to the one that was like crazy uh just how it was um i do believe there was a blu-ray player you had the disc you pushed in you had like the two little lights right there. It was all black. It was kind of, it was, they went with this style of a, of a rectangle type uh, design, um, kind of button there, push on. It was more like everything was here. It was like a sideways machine. We had to push everything, um, push all the buttons and the tray for the, for the games and stuff. And when it comes to the PS3, I think that's when it started changing for the better. Um, you had a lot more downloadable games and no more, you went away from, your memory card here so that was big for 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 gamers just you can store everything here the only issue is that you had to get a big you had to make sure that you had a lot of memory on your machine i, I think that this one this was uh one of the higher ones i do believe if i do remember correctly um i don't think on it so this was october 2008 so i got this probably in 09 I got it on sale, maybe closer. Yeah, I think I got it in 09. And I bought it for Metal Gear again and played all the crazy games. Um, I don't know what game I played last on here, but a lot of love for this. I, I watched a lot of Blu-ray movies. This was like this was like my Apple TV because this you can get on the internet. Um, well, not it wasn't really fast or anything, but you can get watch videos on there, watch YouTube. Um, that was really good for me, playing music, all that good stuff. So it was kind of like a computer. This is when it, it kind of went from a computer-based game and console away from like just a standard wired and all you can do is play games. So this has kind of introduced a lot of good memories for me. Um, being 19, 18, 19 years old, buying this. This is the first one I bought for myself. Um, 
obviously I didn't buy this or the PS2. Those were for my parents. So shout out to my parents. Thank you so much. Um, and that is the PS3 design. So um, yeah, guys, going from that to now the five, whoa, um, just, I mean, it's similar. It is similar. There is the um, the height difference right there. Let me get actually closer in. That is the height difference there. I don't know if you guys can see that. There is the height difference. It is massively tall compared to the um, PlayStation 5. You can see right there. You got maybe uh, six inches, four or five inches right there. So that's definitely taller. You got more power in here, obviously. You have about the same width, honestly, because from the bottom up, it's pretty much the exact same, almost the same. And then you slim up here. So that's cool. You have the vent up top here. Uh, like I said, I didn't get the four. Um, kind of wasn't interested in gaming anymore, kind of going different route PC, just studying, um, stuff like that. But now in my 30s, I, I, I want to pick it up. I mean, I, I've been wanting to get a PS4, but I was like, no, I'll just wait for the five. And then the five was released um, on my dad's birthday, actually, on the 12th. And my birthday is on the 16th. So this is the early birthday Christmas present for myself. Um, just hard work and just trying to get it. And I got it. It was very, very crazy how I got this. Um, <laughs> I'll give you the story. Uh, I'll probably have a story in another video. It might take too long or I don't know. I have another, another story. But yeah, I don't want to make this too, too long. Um, but you have the disc um tray here a lot of people didn't like that and they're like oh why do you have the disc oops sorry guys why do you have the um the tray you know it for the game it looks it looks bulky it looks odd uh, sorry guys so this is what a lot of people were talking about this little um i guess for your blu-ray or oops, there is the tree get that out of there uh but yeah i, I i'm pretty sure you can play your blu-ray and all that good stuff in 4K, 5K when it when there's support for it as well. A lot more support, I should say. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a sick design. I love it. It's not oh, like it's not totally white as I thought it would be. Like this controller is white. Um, it's more of like a silver platinum color, I would say. I'd love the color. Obviously, it's nice. Um, honestly, I was not really I, I mean, the, the Xbox and stuff, I, I just, it looks like a GameCube to me. Um, I think that's something I think about. Uh, I have the GameCubes. I have two GameCubes, from my, one of them for my wife, and then uh, I have the Silver Edition for myself. But yeah, um, I, I mean, I just love Sony. I think I'm just a Sony boy, I guess. I like PlayStations. Um, yeah, I was just, honestly, it was not really a, a choice really for me to say, hey, um should i get the ps the ps5 or the xbox got the x i uh, got the play, playstation so wasn't really a choice and there's the controllers there uh obviously from the one to the two not much changed it was like the coloring uh maybe a little bit more tactic feedback on here uh the dual shock i think was introduced where it kind of buzzed on the two and, the, and then the three obviously you have that a little bit more of a shock and a more uh, intuitive kind of gameplay honestly i don't think it changed much i think the big inner uh change was from the three to the five, uh, four on the controllers and then obviously here it has the four design i want to say um but this is the three here and honestly it looks a lot different but the same it, like the same i don't know i know this is like your mouse pad and stuff like that um uh, whatever. I'm not sure. Honestly, like I told you, I've kind of been MIA for the last decade <laughs> in Sony games. And I don't even know when the four came out, but, um, yeah, 2020, the five came out, got it. So the six is going to come out another like, 10 years or so, give or take, maybe sooner, maybe five. Um, but yeah, this feels solid, really, really nice. You got the play, the, the mad at Mac, uh, the blacked out, um, Sony logo there. You got like a little bubble Sony logo and you don't really have a Sony logo on the um, PS1 slash two, you just got an analog stick and then you got, see it's even dusty here. You even got the, the stick of PlayStation, no button on here. 
So yeah, guys, um, there's the video. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.